under the heavy bags, Japs will find them and kill them. And there it is, a Westerner mortician named John Miller. He also runs and escapes from the soldiers, when he tries to go up into a broken factory, he falls into a pile of dust, a Japanese soldier finds him and jabs the knife attached to his gun into the dust where John is. He sees no blood, so he continues to find him, but John stands up and runs, the soldier stops him and asks him to turn around. But the soldier has no idea that the wall behind him is falling, and John waits for it to fall, then he hides in a bit of a tunnel where he sees two young girls. John introduces himself in English, and he gets frustrated because they can't understand him. John asks where the Winchester Cathedral is because he needs to bury Father Engelman. One of the students speaks and says that they are from the convent. On the other hand, the Chinese soldiers are also protecting their people, and they hide by using a sniper, they shoot Japanese soldiers who try to chase the Chinese civilians who run away from them. When the civilians successfully pass by, Chinese soldiers are left to fight with the Japanese, and they kill each other. When a Japanese tank goes, it kills all the Chinese soldiers, Chinese soldiers lose the war. Major Lee saves his fellow soldier Pu Sheng who got shot and almost died. They hide in a building near the church. At church, John is holding the hands of the two girls as they try to enter the church because he knows that no one can touch them. After all, they are kids and from church. When they get in, a young boy who also happens to be the caretaker is explaining to John how Father Engelman died on the church's grounds, and there's a massive pit and the priest's body scattered around. The young boy named George Chen also explains that they are the only ones left because their cook named Gu escaped and saved himself. John gets disappointed because that's the only reason why he went there. George begs John to stay, but John doesn't want to because there is no money. So he searches all the sides of the church for the possibility that there is money hidden, but he finds nothing. John takes a rest in the priest's bedroom, and he treats himself as a boss. However, the students are crying and praying at the altar, and they start to fight and blame each other when John and George see them, they stop the ongoing fight between the two girls. Outside the church, a pile of wealthy young women gathers around and forces themselves to get in the church because they have a deal with Gu. They are prostitutes from the Chin Wai River. George doesn't want to let them in, he explains that Gu is no longer there, but the ladies throw their luggage inside the church and climb the wall to get in. George stops them, but he isn't able to do it successfully, the students and John peek outside the window and see the women. John sits down at the top window and flirts with the women. On the same night, the women hide under the cellar, they are loud and gambling. She observes the woman when you mow, the group leader, sees her, and she runs. Above, John gives the girls a pile of flour, and he tells them that they will have bread when the bread is almost baked. The women below knock, and they want to get out, so they do. They are all gathering around the kitchen. George gets pissed because the women are drinking the hidden wine, so John also finds it. John is flirting with Yumo since she can speak English and talk to each other. Before the night ends, Yumo goes to John's room upstairs, and John thinks they will have sex. He prepares a little money and gives it to Yumo. But Yumo asks him to help them get out of Nanking, and she's serious about it, John thinks she's joking, so she leaves. On the other side, Major Lee forces himself to get inside the church, and George leads him to the cellar. He puts Pu Sheng down on the bed because he is dying. He explains that he wants to have him in a warm place before he dies, he's the youngest among them, and he is sad for him. Major Lee left and went into a room where the students were praying. He left the student's shoe that he had seen earlier that day, and he went outside. Yumo runs to Major Lee and asks him for help, they are talking at the altar when the wind suddenly drops, and they see John at the top. When John goes down, he says to Yumo that maybe she doesn't want to have sex with him because there is a military discount for the soldier, not for him. Major Lee and John fight. The following day, students restrict the women from using the bathroom, they argue because one of the students is standing at the door. When one of the women pisses off, she grabs the student's hair, and they start to fight. Suddenly, the student got shot in her neck, and she died. They find out that the Japanese are there and raid the church. All of them start to run, the women to the cellar, when the Japanese catch the girls, they run upstairs instead of going to the basement. John tries to hide, but he decides to wear the priest's clothes and go outside and yell to the Japanese to stop. The soldiers abusing and raping the girls stop, but one of their leaders pulls his katana off and slices the red cross sign that John holds. They start the abuse again. When Major Lee, who is outside, notices what's happening inside, he begins to shoot them one by one. When the Japanese see it, they run out to find where the shooter is, but before that, Major Lee plants all the bombs he has left. When the Japanese start to see him, he shoots the bomb one by one, and it kills most of the soldiers. 
Until the Japanese find where he is, they fire at him, and he falls off the building. Not knowing that, he ties himself to a rope where there are bombs at the end, so when he falls, the bombs blow off the whole building and kill them all. Hours after that, high-ranking officials of the Japanese soldiers go to the church, and Colonel Hasegawa talks to John. He apologizes and explains to him what happens, he offers them a bag of potatoes and assures them that they will be safe. Japanese will guard their church to prevent it from happening again. Before they leave, Colonel finds the piano and plays a Japanese folk song entitled My Home. When the Japanese left, John, George, and the students buried the two girls who died because of the Japanese. They go inside, and the women say sorry to the girls, they feel guilty because they are the ones in the cellar instead of the girls, and because of the fight earlier in the bathroom, a young girl died. George talks to John when they are in the bedroom, and George asks John to stay, but he can't. They argued before George left the room. However, Pu Sheng wakes up, but he is pale and can barely talk. Do is playing Piper for him, and she's the one taking care of him. On the other side, a Chinese man who plays to be a Japanese interpreter goes inside the church and talks to Shu, and it's Mr. Meng, Shu's father. They talk at the altar, and the girls are watching them. He is forcing her to go outside Nanking and save themselves, but she refuses. When Shu goes upstairs, her classmates tell her that she's a traitor. John finds out that Mr. Mibiji is there, and they talk that he needs to make sure that his daughter is safe. John asks Mr. Meng to help them get some tools to fix the truck and go outside. However, Yumo and John are talking again. Yumo tells her story, she was in a convent for six years until his stepfather raped her when she was 13 years old. And that's the start of her journey as a prostitute, she starts serving men by giving them pleasure. She also says that she once had a crush on a guy, but not like John, who is full of beard, this guy is clean. So after their conversation, John shaves his beard to impress Yumo. Pu Sheng starts talking nonsense, and all the women gather around him, they cry for him because they know he is dying. Do is explicitly affected. Moments later, Pu Sheng died. When John buries Pu Sheng's body, Yumo realizes that they are incomplete until they find out that Do and Lan go outside. Do will get a pair of strings for her pipa because she wants to play something. Nice for Pu Sheng, Lan will get back to their house and get her earrings. When John goes back inside, Yumo and other women beg him to go outside and find them. So he tries his best, and he goes outside with George, explaining to the guards that they will get food. When they wander around the city, John finds his friend Terry who is escaping the city. Terry asks him to go with him, but John can't leave because of the girls he left in the church. However, Do and Lan are able to go back to their house and get what they need. But when they are about to go back, the Japanese find them and start to abuse them. They fight back, which causes them their death. John finds their body lying on the floor, he gets the string and earrings when they return to the church and give it to the women. He explains that they are dead. John rests in his bedroom, frustrated when Mr. Meng goes inside and hands him over the tools he asked for. Mr. Meng also hands over the safety of his daughter, Shu, to John. John thanks him before he leaves. The students sing for Colonel Hasegawa at the altar, after that, he explains that he is inviting them to a ceremony that will be happening the following day. John refuses at first because he knows that they will invite these girls to kill them there or rape them. The girls are terrified, but Colonel Hasegawa can't do anything since it's the order from above. Before the Japanese leaves, they count the girls, 13, including Mosquito, who are not supposed to be there. Shu tells the other students to jump off the building, they will commit suicide. But the women and John are able to stop them. Yumo says that they will replace them instead. When they are safe, women gather in the cellar and talk about their decision. Yumo says that they are still alive because of the girls in the convent, so it's time for them to pay back. And since it's what they do for a living, it will be easier for them. They all agree at last and ask John for one more help. The students give their uniforms to the women to wear, but they fix them using curtains since it's out of their sizes. On the other side, John and George are fixing the truck, hammering plywoods as a box for wines they will use. Back in the cellar, the women and the students are crying to each other, saying their goodbyes and all their last wills. They hug and assure them they will be safe. The women start to sing their traditional song, Chin Wai River View, they perform it as if it is their last. However, John and Yumo are in bed. John does the makeup for Yumo and cuts her hair. They kiss and make love. When they get back to the cellar, John does the transformation of all the women left. When women wake up, they are all happy, and George counts them, they are only 12. So he sacrifices himself, and John makes a wig for her too. 
they break a piece of glass and the sharp parts, they hide it in their bodies as a weapon against the Japanese. When the Japanese are there to pick them up the next morning, the women start to go off the truck. Mr. Meng forces himself and wants to see his daughter, but what he sees are other girls. When it's Mosquito's turn, she tells the guards that she's not a student. Luckily, the Japanese can't understand her, and they force her to get inside. When the truck leaves, John goes inside immediately, and the soldier shoots Mr. Meng. John gathers all the students at the